Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to the new video of this uh, Kotlin coroutine series. In this video I'm going to explain you more about uh, run blocking function. So uh, as the name suggests, uh, run blocking function will block the thread on uh, which is running all until the code inside it isn't completed. So this function uh, should not be used from another coroutine and uh, it is designed to bridge uh, regular blocking code to libraries that are written in a suspending style. And its main purpose is to run in a main functions and uh, tests. So uh, bottom line, uh, you will not use this uh, in production. Okay, so uh, now let me show you some uh, examples so uh, you can see what uh, this is all about. And uh, here we're going to use the same uh, Android Studio project which we have used uh, in the previous video of this uh, series. And uh, now let me uh, show you some uh, examples. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to call uh, one coroutine inside a global scope. So let me call uh, global scope dot launch. So uh, now if we try to call this uh, run blocking function inside our uh, coroutine, so let's try and call uh, run blocking, uh, then you will see that uh, Android Studio will uh, warn us. And here uh, we're going to see a message that says uh, inappropriate blocking method call. So basically this uh, run blocking uh, function uh, will block the thread on which is running. And uh, actually there is no purpose of uh, running this run blocking inside the coroutine. So we should always avoid placing this uh, run blocking function inside the coroutine and we should uh, place it somewhere else. So I'm going to just cut this part of the code and paste that uh, for example right here on the top. And now that warning uh, will disappear. So if we check uh, this source code, so let me click uh, control plus B, uh, you will see that uh, this uh, function is actually not a suspend function. And here on the top you can see and read documentation. So this uh, function will basically uh, run a new coroutine and it will block the current thread until it's completed. So its main function uh, is to be used in a main functions and in tests. So you should avoid uh, using this run blocking in a production. So uh, most of the time you're going to use the run blocking function in uh, experimental purposes. And now let me go back here. So basically this uh, run blocking uh, function will block the thread. And now uh, let me just write some code here inside. So I'm going to basically use a log to log just a simple message. And uh, here I'm going to uh, use this dot uh, coroutine context dot to string and then I'm going to use the delay function here and I'm going to delay this uh, block of code to uh, five seconds and then I'm going to also copy and paste this uh, this uh, log statement inside this uh, global scope and uh, now you will see that this uh, second uh, log statement will not be executed before this delay uh, is completed. So let's run this application and let's watch our log here. Okay so there is our first log and then after 5 seconds our uh, second log uh, will be printed as well. So here uh, you can see that uh, our first uh, log statement is actually blocking uh, coroutine. So it will block the thread until uh, the block inside is completed. And only after that this uh, second one will be printed as well. But uh, for example if we would call another uh, coroutine inside another global scope. And let's also add this delay of 5 seconds. And I'm going to comment out this run blocking for a second. Okay. And now if I run this code, then uh, both of those statements uh, will be printed. So let me show you that. Okay, so as you can see, uh, those uh, two scopes uh, were running uh, asynchronously and uh, they are not blocking the actual thread uh, on which they are running. So now you can see the actual difference, okay? Okay, uh, and now I'm going to show you another example. So uh, this time I'm going to uh, basically copy or cut and paste those two uh, global scopes inside this uh, run blocking code. And uh, you will see that those two uh, coroutines uh, will not block each other. So it will be basically the same as uh, before in the previous example. So let me just paste those here and I'm going to uh, print a different message. So I'm going to say here uh, coroutine uh, 1 and down below I'm going to say uh, coroutine 2. Okay, so here I'm going to also add a delay of uh, 5 seconds and also I'm going to add uh, one uh, log statement here as well. So run blocking completed and now let's run the app and let's see uh, what will happen. Okay, so as you can see, uh, both of those uh, coroutines uh, have printed this uh, message and we actually didn't need to wait uh, 10 seconds because those two coroutines uh, were running uh, asynchronously and only after this run blocking was completed, 
then this uh, log was printed. So basically uh, that's all you need to know about this uh, run blocking. So its main purpose is to block the, the thread on which is running and of course uh, as I already mentioned uh, you should avoid using this uh, run blocking in a production. So uh, that will be all for now. Write down in the comments if you want to see more videos about uh, Kotlin core routines. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like this video if you find it helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.